So what is Darwinist theory? It's basically that we evolved from apes, evolved from amoebas, little tiny amoebas, you know, one-celled organisms all the way up into whatever other higher organisms. Everything evolved into a higher organism by having mutations that uh, made it more likely that they would survive. And so those mutations then became the norm and uh, things evolved that way. Okay, um, so I'm going to go through this and just uh, think about this rationally. Um, if, if nobody had heard this theory before, um, then I think they would see it differently. It's just that they've been repeatedly told this over and over and over that this is a valid theory. Um, and so they don't understand, you know, they've been brainwashed over and over and over again by, by this. And so they can't process it properly. But if you look at it with a, a clear mind, you can see um, like how many people with mutations do you know? Very simple question. How many people do you know right now with mutations? And upon uh, on top of that, how many people with good mutations do you know? Like, I mean, three breasts so you can feed three children or something. <laughs> like, um, yeah, how, how many, uh, you know, with an extra finger or something, maybe you can do something or something like that. But that never becomes the norm either, right? So you don't, not only do you not know anybody with mutations, pretty much, you don't know anybody with good mutations, helpful mutations, right? And then you don't know anybody with helpful mutations who their children became, cut those help, helpful, supposedly helpful mutations. It doesn't exist, okay? Any mutation is a bad mutation, basically, almost always, you know, it causes problems, it, it, it disables a person. Okay, so the f first first point of Darwinism is that mutations help people, help, help organisms evolve into higher organisms. This is nowhere seen in nature, okay? Um, then you look at how many missing links have there been found? I mean, they say, oh, well, we found the missing link between ape and human. I've been to the Natural Museum, Museum of Natural History in, in New York, and I've seen their display, you know. They found a jawbone, a jawbone, okay, of, of some kind of, like, hybrid human ape, they say. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, you found a jawbone, sure, but you do... <laughs> It's a bone, you know? It, you don't know where it came from. You don't know what... It, they, they, they fabricated everything, right? And then they created this whole big model of this half-ape, half-human thing, right? Um, no. You know, it, it, they're fabricating everything. Uh, it, it, there have been no missing links found. I mean, it, they can they can stretch something and, and make it say, oh, this bone is, is possibly some... But... If you look around you, there should be grass evolving into bushes, bushes evolving into trees. There should be animals moving, evolving into different animals, you know. Uh, it should be humans evolving. You should, you should see this everywhere. There should be an infinite number of missing links everywhere if this, valid, if the, if this theory was valid at all. But we don't see that in our immediate environment, much less in our fossil record. You know, there is no evidence for evolution. Not a thing. And even they call it the missing link. Oh, we found a missing link. We found the missing link. The missing link, they say. You know, it's like, oh, you found one thing that could be stretched to the max to say something. No, you know, there are no missing. There's no evidence for evolution on that level either. So there's no mutations, and mutations are never good. On top of that, there are no missing links. All the evidence is gone. There, there's no physical evidence, right? I mean, if this was in a court of law, I mean, the, the court judge would just laugh in, and in 30 seconds say, no, <laughs> you're guilty, evolution. You, you're a dumb theory, you know? It's, go to, go to the you know, death penalty, <laughs> you know, just die, you stupid theory. But 
um, that's where we're getting into why evolution is being forced on us. Now, we're genetically modifying things. If you look at um, GMOs, right, we're, we're genetically modifying fruit, vegetables, food, whatever, animals. Um, now, there's a company in France called Clonade openly trying to clone humans. Uh, Monsanto is uh, is probably closely linked with Clonade. Um, and France owns 60% of the satellite contract. One company in France owns 60% of the satellite contracts in the U.S. Um, our technology came from extraterrestrials. Now this gets into a whole other thing. Um, but it's linked with Darwinism because they are genetically mod this is where we got the technology for, for genetically modifying things and they're trying to create an alien human hybrid thing that's why they want to mix the races now darwinism is about mixing the races it's saying um everything you know it, that apes came everything started in africa so you know the africans are the apes uh at the top of the chain food chain are the blonde hair blue eyes right that's because the Nazis made deals with extraterrestrial races for technology. They were really desperate or whatever. They, they Now, it could be said, oh, well, they, they were afraid of the Magna Carta, you know, the Jewish uh, elite owning so much. And maybe, in a way, they were forced to join the extraterrestrials to, to, um, to, to combat this or whatever. Now, that's a possibility. I'm not saying that the Jews are bad or whatever. I, I'm just saying I understand the conflict here. Um, because if you read the Magna Carta, the original one, it's like if you own, if you owe any Jewish people money, da 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 da. I mean, the Magna Carta actually says in it, if you own, it, it, it calls the bankers Jewish, right? It, and and that's the people that created the, like, it, 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 the money used to be owned by Jews. And so I think that in a way the the Nordics sort of felt, oh well, we have to join the extraterrestrials in their combat against whatever. Okay, so they got all the technology. They made any kind of deal they could possibly make with extraterrestrials. This is my theory on how it evolved, but I don't know exactly. That's why the Nazis went to South America. They were friends there. You know, it's like they, they, that's where they mix the races, right? Um. And so, it largely, uh, South America was this, this, uh, has become this Nazi hideout, um, and but it's extraterrestrial, you know. And and then because they own all the technology, because they understand all the technology, they are controlling everything, right? That's why the blonde hair, blue eyes are said to be the top of the food chain in the evolutionary chart. Um, now, this is a problem big problem because everything is mixed from from amoebas to humans uh, to, to humans to uh blonde hair blue eyes and there's no you know basically we could be having sex with animals if in the theory of evolution and and it wouldn't be wrong or anything you know it, everybody should just mix with everything and then that's it that's because the extraterrestrials want to mix the races. That's their whole agenda. They want they they see oh the human body is so amazing. They want that. They're jealous of the human body. Um, and anyways, this is only only in the past. Uh, races were only kept separate f until uh, like 150 years ago, right? They all the races that supposedly there were um, my. It's my understanding that there were originally six separate European races, six se separate races, you know, maybe like red hair, green eyes, blonde hair, blue eyes, the Jews, uh, the whatever, like it, we know for sure, like the whole Bible, if you look at the Old Testament, it's all set up about Jews being their own race, God's chosen people, you know, the, the whole, half the Bible is about um the Jews maintaining their race, right? It, it's it's all about God's chosen people and God's you know chosen race. Um. Anyways, all the races were kept separate by the gods and Buddhas that created them. 
and it, they were only started to be uh, mixed around 150 years ago. That's when Darwinism started. That he, Darwin started 150 years ago. He, he published the Origin of the Species 150 years ago at the exact same time that Karl Marx published the Communist Manifesto in German, um, and, and all these other things happened. Homosexuality became a term in Germany. 150 years ago, exact same time as communism and Darwinism came around. That's because the extraterrestrials um, are it, 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 it's the same thing in ancient Samaria and Atlantis, where the Atlantis was split, males on one side, females on the other side of the island. I mean, they kept all the males on one side of the island, all the females on the other. And then it was destroyed, right? Samaria had hugely homoerotic behavior, is documented as. Um, and then here we go with extraterrestrials and technology again, and they were seeing the same thing again. Where, um, yeah, we get the technology, but then we got to adopt their uh, ways of living, which is very, very much like communism. If you if you look at um, uh, what's his name, Stephen Greer with um, the Disclosure Project. He wants to communize everything. He's big into communism, basically. And he's saying that's the way extraterrestrials live, you know? Um, we, so is it, that's proof right there that, that communism came from extraterrestrials, actually. Just <laughs> check out De, uh, Stephen Greer um, and his his uh, ideas of way, how he wants to make the world. Uh, and, uh, anyways, I'm, I, I don't know what else to go into here, except that r we should not have been, we should never have put evolution into our, um, schools whatsoever. It's, it's the dumbest theory in the world, but we've all been brainwashed to the max so that nobody even questions it. I'm going to put some links below of stage hypnosis shows where people um, are hypnotized and then they start believing things like a guy thinks he's pregnant and he really believes he's pregnant and everyone around him who's hypnotized is like wow he's having a baby and nobody can think wait a minute that's a guy it's not possible that he can have a baby no 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 no, no they just see it they believe that it's happening you know um, this is what's happening People, they can't, you know, we've been hypnotized by our TV. It, we, it, it's a hypnosis tool. TV has been documented as a, as able to do basically stage hypnosis on people. Same with uh, um, a lot of other technologies. <laughs> I mean, there's supposedly alien implants in basically everyone, or in, for sure in everyone. Uh, our cell phones can probably manipulate our minds some stuff like that but anyways watch these just these stage hypnosis shows where people are just talking to them and how much it affects them it's unbelievable in the information box i'll put some links because th this is exactly what's happened these we have all been brainwashed to the max and we are mentally disabled disabled not able to think the, you talk to someone about creation versus evolution their eyes gloss over they're not able to think it's the same thing with extraterrestrials. They gloss over, not able to think. It's because we've been brainwashed, extremely brainwashed, and they, they, there's, there's been like a block put in there. We need to remove that block. Because you know what? Europeans didn't create this technology for computers and stuff like that, like they say they did. They got it from making deals with extraterrestrials, and we have to acknowledge that. If we don't acknowledge that, we're in trouble. We're 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 going to stay in trouble, you know. We're already in trouble, but we're gonna, we're going to we're not going to get out of our situation, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>